Hey everyone, it's Age of the Aquarius. Today I'm back with another 10 minute makeup tutorial. It has been five months, <laughs> I know, but I am back with a two-parter. This video will be my old makeup routine that I've been doing for like five, six years. And then the next video will be my current routine that I just discovered and I'm so excited about it. And you know, hindsight's 2020. I'm definitely the kind of person where if I find a look that works for me, I don't really change it. And also I think I was doing what was popular as far as contour and highlight and I wasn't really doing makeup that worked for my face shape. But yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys the difference. Also, it is the first week of September. I am already getting my fall look together. You guys know I love that. So I'm super excited about the season and being festive. So yeah, let's jump into this video. Okay, so this is really going to be impromptu. I realized that the videos that I enjoy making are like Saturday Night Cocktails or Forever Single because it's just really conversational, natural. So we're just gonna roll with this. We're getting the full personality today. So let's go ahead with foundation. Um, I don't have my old foundation. I ran out and I just got a new one on a whim. So this step is not really important to show the difference because I do my foundation the same. Um, so I just put it all over my face and I don't forget the neck. So one thing to note is that my order of operations <laughs> doesn't really change between my old routine and the new one. It's just how I'm doing the application. So my next step is usually the brows, and this is how I used to draw them. <laughs> After I draw them in, I will go over them with some concealer. All right, after that is my eyeliner, and this is how I would usually draw my wings. Now my next step would be my concealer. So I just use a lighter concealer right under my eyes, like that. Then I'll take it a little bit between my brow so that this whole line here is pretty bright. And I blend up this way. Next will be my contour. This step has changed the most, so make sure to watch the next video because in retrospect, wow, what was I doing? <laughs> All right, so you can barely see it coming in from the front. Um, the idea was that you could see it from the sides, um, so it's pretty harsh. I then took a little bit of blush and put that along the top of it. And because it's so extreme, I then go over with powder, loose setting powder, and do a blending motion to try to disperse that color a little bit so it's not as harsh. So as you can see, it's still there. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be, it was such an extreme contour. It was not helping matters. It was not helping my life but that's what I was doing. And now I'll do my lips. Usually I overline and um, that hasn't really changed very much. So I'm gonna use a brown. I think I'll do a red lipstick today. Next would be my highlight. That is also very different <laughs> now that I know better. <laughs> so this is how I used to do it. Nose forehead. I'm doing a more is more action here because it just looks a lot less intense on camera than it does in person just to show the effect. So then I'd go over my contour area. So right in here is where I'd add the highlight on my cheeks. I will put all my lashes off camera and just for the demonstration I'll be using these big boys. These are a little smaller. You can barely tell they're huge lashes but I will be using the big ones just to illustrate how I used to do my lashes. With my old step, I would take the lashes, they're full here, and then I just cut off a piece off the end just to make them wearable and smaller, and then I'd go ahead and apply. Okay, I'm back with the lashes on. That's pretty much the only thing I did off camera. Um, yeah, this is the look I've been doing for the past 
five to seven years, I haven't changed it up. Um, this would be my look if I'm trying to get ready in the morning really fast, just red lips and lashes and a cat eye. So one thing that I noticed that's so different than how I do my makeup now is the lash placement. Um, these are really big, even though I cut them down, they tend to droop in the corners and that's so subtle, but that changes the complete look of my eye. Um, the Basso Hound's back pretty much because it drags my eyes down if they're like out to here like this. So I'd always kind of push them up, but they're not going to stay that way. And then the most glaring thing is the contour. Y'all, like I cannot believe I was walking around with my contour like this. <laughs> I thought it was cute. It's not supposed to be visible. It's supposed to be blended in so that it looks like the natural shape of your face. So that's the thing that I'll probably wipe off if I go out today. TBH. Um, the brows, it took me my entire life to get my brows together. I don't think that these brows are bad. It's just that I draw them a little bit differently when I'm doing my new makeup routine. And then there's a few steps that I didn't do that I now do. I put the concealer on as you saw, but I did not powder over it in the end. Also, I didn't use setting spray for this look, which I do now. And those things are really subtle, but they change how the makeup ends up coming out. Harry Styles. Yes. All right, so that's going to do it for this video. Again, this is my old makeup routine. I'll be uploading another video, which is my new current routine, and we can compare and contrast and laugh at the things that I did not know before, but I'm so glad I do now. So it's really exciting to try something new and to share it with you all. And I'm so happy to be back making videos on YouTube. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. It's Asia the Aquarius. Bye.